Hey, everybody, and welcome. Today, I want to talk a little bit about kissing because it's one of those ways that can create intimacy or that can help you connect with your partner. And not everybody feels like they're good at it. So let's talk about what are good kissing techniques. Now, of course, everybody has their own thing. Some people like kissing really hard and intense. Some people like it to be soft and slow. Sometimes it changes depending upon your mood, your connection with your partner. The lovely thing about kissing, especially when you're with somebody new, is you get to explore their energy. In other words, you can start being playful with kisses and it gives you a sense of how they work with the rest of their body. In other words, if someone comes in really hard and fast and intense and aggressively, that's probably how the rest of the sexual and intimate experience with them is going to be. If they come in soft and slow and confident, you may know that that's the way the rest of the experience is gonna be with them. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people, as they start learning how to kiss or as they start kissing somebody, may feel a little bit shy at first. Like for example, some people love kissing with tongue. Some people don't. In a lot of surveys, people say that they enjoy using tongue, but they don't like the whole makeout session to be full of tongue, right? They don't like it to be super wet and super sloppy, but they like having a nice, gentle, interactive where the tongues make contact and they break apart. So when you're using tongue with kissing, think about using it like a little dance, right? You're coming into contact, you're playing a little bit, and then you're backing off. Another thing you can play with with kissing is which lip you're focusing on. So in other words, you may have had someone like bite your lower lip or lick your upper lip. And now some people, once again, don't like having their lips licked, which is really interesting, right? Everyone has their own thing. However, if you start playing with the focus of where are you focusing? Are you going to maybe kiss the corner of their mouth a little bit more? Are you going to work your way around? How are you interacting with your partner in a really playful and fun way with kissing? That changes it up. That creates more intimacy. That creates different kind of connection where it's moving and it doesn't feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again, right? So you can move back and forth or nibble one area. Just also be really in tune with your partner and see how your partner is interacting back. Are they making noises? Are they moving in? Are they pulling away? Because as you start feeling and be really present when you're kissing your partner, you can also start getting a sense of how to read their cues in other areas of intimacy. Now, another thing to play with during kissing is where are you putting your hands? For example, some people love having their their head pulled in from the back of their neck as they're making out with somebody, right? Some people like the soft, gentle caress on the cheek. Some people like being held really tight. And often it's an intermix of these things, right? Where the hands are moving, people are exploring, you're feeling, but the most important thing is to be very, very present with your partner. Have you ever been making out with somebody or intimate with somebody and just knew that they weren't fully present for you, that they weren't really there. They weren't in the same space. It's as if their mind was somewhere else. The same thing happens with kissing. So really make sure that whatever it is that you're choosing to do while you're kissing helps them feel connected. So those are my tips for today, right? So play with the intensity, use some tongue like a dance, be really attentive to how and where you're touching and change up where on the lips or the mouth that you're kissing and engage with your partner. You can always ask what they like. Most people find that they like it just when people start interacting and feel out their own cues, but you can always ask later, like, hey, did you like that? I wanted to play with that. Was that something you enjoyed or not? So keep these tips in mind when you start having your next hot makeout session with somebody whether it's your partner or someone new. Subscribe. Remember your love, your loving, you are lovable. We'll see you next time.